Today's apologists claim atheism can't explain the origin of the universe. Hundreds of years ago, Norsemen believed lightning was caused by the god Thor. After all, lightning is incredibly powerful. It can destroy whatever it strikes. Humans couldn't even come close to creating it. And it is even accompanied by a loud, angry rumble. What else could lightning and thunder be but Thor expressing his anger and power? What better evidence could there be for the existence of gods? We now know such reasoning was faulty and that lightning is actually created by natural phenomena, no god needed. And the Judeo-Christian Muslim claim that God created the universe uses exactly the same kind of mistaken reasoning. It's an argument from ignorance to say that just because science doesn't yet have a clear answer for something, that lack of knowledge somehow defaults to being evidence for the existence of God. That's a logical fallacy. It's far better to admit a lack of knowledge about something than it is to confidently assert poorly reasoned claims. Another way to look at it is, would atheism be the default answer just because Christians can't explain why their God would even exist in the first place? No, that would be equally faulty reasoning. A lack of an explanation for something is not evidence for something else. Thus, the only rational answer for why the universe exists is, we don't know. Any other claim is speculation, although science does have some good hints as to why our universe exists. Theories in physics predict the existence of such things as parallel universes, multiple universes, universes created by black holes, and universes created by quantum fluctuation. And none of them even suggest the existence of an intelligent creator god. Science has a long history of proving that phenomena that were originally assumed to be supernatural in origin actually have a completely natural explanation. And the opposite has never turned out to be true. Never. That should give one pause in assuming that anything science cannot yet explain should default to the supernatural. Assuming a supernatural origin to any unexplained phenomenon, when there is as yet no credible evidence that anything supernatural even exists, is simply not rational. It's a violation of Occam's razor, which is the idea that if there are two competing explanations, the one that requires the least speculation should be favored. Furthermore, even if we had no plausible scientific explanation for the origin of the universe, one would still need to provide credible evidence for the existence of God. Theists have been trying to do this for thousands of years without success. They can't even provide valid evidence that a non-material mind can even exist. All the credible evidence we have points to minds being an emergent property of brains, which inherently require material spacetime to exist and function. One of the biggest objections to scientific hypotheses concerning the origin of the universe that theists make is the claim that you can't get something from nothing. But there are two problems with that claim. First, when physicists refer to something from nothing, they typically are not referring to the absolute nothingness theists imagine existed prior to our universe appearing. What they mean is what you have left after removing all regular matter and energy from space. That still leaves virtual particles popping in and out of existence at the quantum level, and quantum fluctuations could explain the appearance of universes out of seemingly nothing. And the quantum realm may be eternal in basically the same way theists mean when they claim God is eternal. Second, ironically, it's the theists who believe you can get something from absolute nothingness. After all, they typically believe that God created the universe out of absolutely nothing. First there was only God, then he said, let there be light, and boom, a universe appeared out of pure nothingness. So if the theistic explanation for the universe is valid, then the aforementioned scientific hypothesis is equally valid. More valid, actually, since there is no credible evidence that God or even the supernatural exist. Whereas we have clear evidence that the quantum realm exists and that virtual particles can indeed pop in and out of existence. It's possible our universe is the result of a similar type of fluctuation, only vastly larger. Having said that, the reason atheism can't explain the origin of the universe is simply because atheism is only the lack of belief in gods. It doesn't seek to explain anything. If you don't believe in poltergeists, do you need to have an explanation for how that book fell off the shelf? No. But most atheists believe that there is a natural explanation for the existence of the universe. 
and hypotheses and theories in science provide reasonable justification for that belief. It's certainly better justification than the baseless claim that God spoke the universe into existence out of absolute nothingness.